Hello and welcome to another edition of St. Louis Presents. I'm Rob Desir and I'm joined by Sarah Bernard this week. Sarah, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. We're glad to have you this week. And uh, we are in the kitchen as we always start the show. And we've got Gina Keevan of Yay. Choices Catering Brokerage. That is a mouthful and you do it well. Yes, thank you. And uh, this, I'm a little scared because this week I'm going to help you cook, right? Um, you're going to do most of the cooking. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. What are we making today? <laughs> uh, easy Greek. Easy Greek. Mm -hmm. easy. Sounds, it's, easy. It's, it's supposedly easy, but no, I, it I guarantee you, you it'll be very difficult. I can't really cook very well either. Okay, well, you know what? You shouldn't have told me that because now you're putting more of the pressure on me. No, it's my only, It's mainly store-bought, so okay. we're good. All right, we're good. so we're going to do a little right. easy Greek cooking today in the kitchen, uh, mostly by me, so you know, pray for me. All right, but Sarah, who else do we have on the show? <laughs> are we going to taste it? Okay, today on the show, we're so excited to have Colonel Richard Gray, who is the president of the St. Louis uh, Board of Police Commissioners. I think I got that right. Yep. And Benice King, who is running a really interesting and fabulous school in the city that is getting lots of headlines. So we're going to meet both of them today on the show. Yeah, we're going to have some uh, exciting news to let you know about within the community. And uh, as always, St. Louis Presents starts right now, so don't go anywhere. All right, well, welcome to another edition of St. Louis Presents. As I said, Sarah is uh, joining me this week. April is uh, out of town. She's got some business to take care of. So Sarah, graciously, and uh, you know, we had to bribe her a little bit to come and deal with me this today. It's early. It's early for me. <laughs> yeah, hey, I, I totally understand. I understand. But thank, thank you again for so uh, filling here. in for, for April. Uh, uh, just as we always start to show off a little bit of news and notes, first off, we want to start off the show by, uh, you know, giving our thoughts of prayers to all those who were affected by Hurricane Sandy. I know we were lucky to totally not be in that area where we, we were talking about like eight plus million people are out yeah. with power or, uh, you know, food and, you know, so much thoughts and prayers go out to them and we hope everybody's doing safe. Yeah, I know yeah. those. I did hear this morning that the New York City Marathon is going on as planned this Sunday. Yes. New York uh, is coming back and uh, coming strong, back strong. Well, when you think about all the, you know, everything that's been lost as far as, you know, the finances and money to have that because it yeah. brings in so much money over there in New York City that's uh, that they need that to happen but yeah. the economics of it but also just the community spirit of um, that's true we that's will true survive, that's so. true in Atlantic City oh my goodness the I whole know. Jersey Shore is just 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 torn up so again thoughts and prayers uh, go out to those folks and uh, don't forget we are getting closer and closer to Election Day uh, uh -huh. no November 6th, so definitely want to encourage you guys to make sure you go out there and vote. Your vote does make a difference. You think it doesn't make a difference, it does. It, 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 it truly yeah. does. Next Tuesday, everybody needs to be out there. Polls open at 6 a.m., yep. do you believe? So. Yep. And uh, you, you got to do it. You got to do it. Whoever you vote for, it doesn't matter. It's just it's, yeah. it, The most important thing is that you go, get out there <clears throat> and, and vote. Excuse me. Last other thing that we want to uh, get across is, uh, don't forget on November 8th, is the uh, what is it? The St. Louis International Film Festival that begins, and there's a lot of good movies uh, and events going on there. I know last week we had a we had a guest who was telling us about a, a film that he did about the uh, the homeless uh, the, the the homeless people in St. Louis, and it was a great little clip yeah. that we had. It, it, it might get a lot of critical acclaim. Yeah, it might, it might get a lot know, of praise. The St. Louis International Film Festival is really neat because there are locally produced films. There's films that are coming across uh, from across the world. There's acclaimed films that we're going to be seeing at the Oscars later in the year. So it is definitely um, a great way to preview what's really hot right now in the film world. And that's right here in St. Louis um, starting next Thursday. Right. right and little, time. and I didn't even know this, that, you know, the St. Louis Film Festival is pretty much, it's the largest international film festival basically in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people come out here to, to, to check out what, what films could, could go on and get some awards and move on to the next, you know, film festival, you know, not only here, but, you know, sometimes you, you go to like Paris or wherever. Yeah. It's a great way to get your, uh, you, Great way to you, see some really, really, really good Really good films. movies and get, yeah. and get your name across. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, like we said, a lot of good things going on. Make sure uh, 
you check that out and you vote and you, you know you give your thoughts and prayers out and maybe donate to the folks who are affected by Hurricane Sandy. I'm sure you can check your local uh, Red Cross uh, 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 for information about that. All right, uh, I think now we're going to uh, bring in our first guest of the show, and uh, that would be uh, the president of the Board of Police Commissioners, uh, uh, Mr. Richard Gray. I don't know if Where's he at? Oh, he's coming through the door. We switching it up this week. Look at okay. that. Here Look he at comes. We should have given you some music. Come on through. Yeah. Come on through. You just have a seat over here. Have a seat. Welcome, Colonel Gray. I did they surprise me this week. I thought you were going to be sitting over here. You're going to walk them. They actually just had you come through the door. Well, you know, it's good when they do surprising things for you guys. Uh, there you go. Letting you know it, what's going to go yeah, on. So. Yeah. changing. Well, there's some... Uh, you guys are, I guess, this is, an, is it an exciting time? Because you are in the search for a new uh, police chief in yes. the city of St. Louis. Yes, we are. It's, uh, it's not only an exciting time, it's a challenging time for us as well because we're trying to take some different approaches to how we're going about making sure we find another uh, chief, uh, Eisen, because uh, he was a great chief. And we know that it's going to take a lot of work yeah. to do it right. So Chief Islam has been our chief for four years. Four years, that he's is correct. He's retiring in January. He's retiring and he's going to become a professor at UMSL. So uh, he uh, is going off to, uh, to fulfill a dream of his that he's yeah. always had. And I think he's going to do a terrific job over there. So. Yeah, so you guys have been searching for a little bit. We had, well, we've been putting our process together. And, and that's really, <clears throat> in order to do it right, we really wanted to make sure we took the time out to uh, put together the right process. And I think... Uh, we did a pretty good job in hiring Chief Eisen. Actually, I think we did a great job in hiring him. And so now we're trying to enhance that process so that we can do uh, just as good a job in finding the next chief. Now, when you discovered that Chief was going to retire and you guys had to go about this process, tell me about putting, to putting together this board because this is the first time you guys have gone about it this way in selecting the next chief? Well, there, there were some pieces that we had, some elements that we already had. For example, there was a psych test that was already done for all of our candidates that qualified. Uh, we also had uh, the interviewing process with the board was already there. But one of the pieces that we added this year was focus groups. And we wanted to get the community's involvement into what they were looking for in the chief as well. So we have focus groups that are set, scheduled for um, North uh, St. Louis, Central St. Louis, and South St. Louis, along with going and uh, getting the rank and files opinions as well as how we should go about looking at uh, the elements we want in our next chief. So how did you go about choosing the community members to participate in the focus groups? Well, it's been done two ways. One, uh, we're, we're actually seeking and going after individuals that we know that would have great input. But we're also opening it up to the community itself. So when we go to North St. Louis, we'll have a handful of individuals that we are requesting or asking to be a part of. Uh, but we're also opening it up to the community to come in and, and give their opinions as well. Mm. So pretty much... It starts out, you, you get a bunch of names, and you say you go through that, that, that series of tests that you mentioned and mm -hmm. with, with the focus groups. How many names are you basically down to now? I mean, you get, you get through the first stage. Are you at the second stage right now? Well, uh, I think we're talking maybe two different things. The focus groups are getting the community's input and involvement into how we go about, okay. you know, uh, ideas of what they think a chief should be. The other thing is how we go about getting the individuals that are qualified to be the next chief. Uh, we had over uh, 22 candidates total. That would be our deputy chiefs along with our captains were allowed to qu were qualified for it. Of those 22, 12 have uh, submitted applications. So we have 12 individuals right now that are uh, buying to be our next chief. Okay, so the community weighs in on what kind of chief, not specifically on the Exactly, okay. exactly. Well, I, you know, we don't want to vote. <laughs> right. This is not a vote. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> Make this yeah, because all of a sudden it'll be on a, yeah, I think. But so, yeah, they, they get an opportunity to really talk about the elements they're looking at in a chief. So uh, what, what type of characteristics they believe that the chiefs have had. Mm -hmm. And so things of that nature. So it gives them a chance to have an input in, in that as we go through our process. And by the time the process is all said and done, you want to have somebody in place by when? Uh, January 2nd is our goal. That's uh, uh, Chiefs, that's when he'll be starting at UMSO, and we want to make sure well, that we got somebody That's basically about two months away. That's two months away, <laughs> and so the, top, the, clock, the clock is ticking. Um, yeah. We actually start, we, we have a, um, a board meeting that we're scheduling, an emergency board meeting, which will be next Wednesday. 
And uh, uh, the reason for that is so that we can get the process rolling and going faster at that point. So, so the community involvement, has that started or is that coming that up? That starts next Wednesday as well. So okay. everything starts next week, which is kind of great. Well, uh, we have uh, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week where we will have the community involvement, uh, the, the town hall meetings, the mm -hmm. focus groups. And then uh, we will also have one the following week as well. So it'll be a total of four that we'll have. It'll be interesting to see what people have to say because Chief right. Isom, obviously some big shoes to fill there. He's been yeah, very absolutely. out and right. visible in the exactly. community. Exactly. Now, if there was one quality that you want to stand out in this next chief of police, who, what, what quality would you want it to be? Wow. Um, one of the strengths that Chief Eisen brings that is rare to find in a leader is to get the, the input of his staff around him. Uh, he does such a great job of making sure that he empowers his uh, his uh, leaders and his staff to be able to have an opinion on the direction that the force is going in. So if there would be one thing that I'm looking for is someone that has that ability to do that because sometimes when people get power, it kind of goes to their heads. Mm -hmm. And so we need to make sure that we do a good job of researching and finding an individual that brings that characteristics as well. Wow, that's great stuff. Well, uh, we want to thank you for uh, joining us today and, uh, you know, keep us posted. Maybe you can give us the inside scoop, you know, before yeah. you make the announcement, we can, we can tell everybody who right. might be uh -huh. the next chief. So I got you on that list of about 20 other people that are asking <laughs> that same question. Yeah, you know, you know we want the exclusive. We absolutely want the exclusive. Appreciate it. Thank you, you for thank well. coming up. Thank you. Thank you so much All right. for coming. All right. Nice thank to you. meet you. Now, now's the point where I have to go to the kitchen and try to do some, oh, some, no. some cooking. So I'm a, little scared. <laughs> I'm a little scared. So Gina, how are we looking over there? Are we, are we looking also? Are you, you already got it started? Don't, I've already got it started, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to finish. Yeah, uh oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, now I'm moving over to the kitchen, uh -huh. and I see that uh, we've got the pasta and the chicken already started uh, yes. on, on the grill. So, uh, okay. but now this is for you to try to get a date. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Because you're a bachelor. No, you know what? I need to. I need to learn oh, how to cook no, anyway. Because no, I, his I, name is I, Rob Desire, <laughs> by the way. But. Um, so we're going to try to get you a date because really at 37, you need one. Oh, God, you're just um, putting all my business I'm sorry, out there, are you 38, 39? Huh? I'm no, 28. No. I'm sorry, 20. it was 28. That's yeah, right. 28. So um, these are your appetizer. Oh, so, so, let's so my with... appetizers are already made, basically. No, no, right? no, no, you're going to make it. No, 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 no. We're not going to let you off the hook. Oh, come um, on. So you're going to start off with a little salad first. So we've got a little radicchio, a little butter lettuce. And these are so simple. You just get them at Schnooks or Deerbergs or any grocery store. Okay. And you take it, and these are washed, and you just rip it with your hand. That's it? That's it. Rip it. So what about Take when, it, start see, it. see, I'm usually the kind of person that Talk would buy. Talking rip. Talking rip. I'm, I'm usually the kind of person that buys the salad that's no, already no, in that no, little bag. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, Rob. Come on now. Why? What's, what's right. so bad about that? Well, you can. That would be okay. But then you'd want to add a little bit of fresh, you know, a little bit more. A little, act like you can cook a little. At least I try to. I can make to. scrambled eggs. I, I mean, make a mean scrambled that's eggs. That's one of the reasons that I have choices catering brokerages because I really can't cook very well. And so um, I hire people to do the cooking. But when I do cook, I make sure that it's it's half store bought and half cooked. Okay. So that's what I want to do with that's, you today. Yeah. All right. So I just flipped the chicken because you wanted to make it look a so little bit brown. So did you season brown. the chicken? Now what I did, uh, not yet. What we're going to do is, this is what I want to show you, which is so unique for you as a bachelor. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Chicken all ready Chicken to go. Chicken all ready to go. It's already in a in a roasted garlic and white wine sauce. Watch that garlic when you're kissing though. But and then it's Oh, it's, everything's everything's sealed and ready to go. You just each open one it up. Individually wrapped. Individually wrapped. So this for you, and this was six ninety nine for this bag. So I don't know if you're cheap or not, but just in no, case. Oh no, come okay. on. So thank goodness. All right, so what you want to do is you put a little butter in the pan. And then you take that chicken. That's it, it's butter? That's it. That's and it? you dump it in there. Now, let's take this tomato. Here you go. Uh-oh. And take and a knife, that's, cut that, it in that, half that, on that red little that cutting. Be, that might little, mm -hmm. be a little problem right here. Yeah, uh-huh. Cut, just cut in it in half? half. Yeah. Just this way? Yeah, uh-huh. Watch your fingers now. That's right. Did I cut? Did I use the right side? Okay. Uh-huh. There you there go. There we go. Look at that. Okay, look at that. Now, I want you to take this and scoop ice, out the innards. My little ice cream. It's so, it's so simple. Scoop out the innards. Look at this. Look at that. You see? Oh, my goodness. Who knew? Who Cooking knew? could be so easy. All right. Now, take fresh, again, store-bought. This is And those are Campari tomatoes, which are wonderful, wonderful uh, tasting tomatoes. Grab one of these. Uh-huh. And you can grab one of those. Stick it right in. Oh, before we do that, though, I'm sorry. You want to take a little bit of Robusto Italiano <laughs> dressing. Or you could use Greek dressing. Let's or. see if we can, we can yeah. hide. Look at that. 
Skills okay. right there. Skills. Now those are knife skills. And then you take a little, just a just, tiny bit. Just a bit. little drop, just a Thousand a drop. Island. What That's is that, a, No, 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 this is robust Italiano. Robust You don't Italian. want to use a Thousand Island oh, with okay, a tomato. Okay. That's true. Okay, so. That's what they use in Big Macs, right? Yeah. Okay. So now you're gonna take a little bit of pimento if you want. So see this pimento? So take your knife tip. I'll take the knife tip again. Yeah, take it to tip again if you want. Now I at home, saying, I, I would just dig in with my right. hands and kind of squeeze the, you know. I would say this, but, this is the but little since that we're I know on about television, cooking. We have to kind of be proper. I right? thought that this was a little tomato. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. Okay, now what I would do, which I didn't bring, well, actually I brought a little bit, but is to put a little fresh basil on top to give it a little color. And there's your beautiful appetizer. Your lady oh, friend man. is going to be so impressed. Now, if you wanted to, you could take a mini skewer and put a skewer through there, and they're little caprice pops. Look at that. Okay. That's awesome. So, we gotta added, watch our chicken. I just chicken. added another dish to my repertoire. Yes. Now you see. Watch this, out. This chicken is gonna be so tender. Now I add the seasonings, and this is store bought. Here you go, Greek seasoning. Oh, Greek that's seasoning. how you make it easy Greek. That's the, so. That's the whole easy Greek thing. Okay. Look. Look at that. This is the Greek season. Yes. It's all in the season. So put some Greek seasoning. So just put a little bit. Da, boom. Da, 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 da. I'm the season Booyah. king, though. No, I'm the season king. Yeah, you put a little more than that. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. a little more than that. And then, because you could also do oregano if you wanted. That's a Greek, too. And then you want to put a little pepper. A little pepper. A little pepper. For you, maybe a lot. But remember, you're bam, trying bam. to win some women. So. Hey, I'm just trying to win myself over with this no, meal first. No, this is to win a date. <laughs> I want to win myself. And then you're going to flip it again. Now season it on the other side. Both sides get seasoned. Both sides get some yes, seasoning. Yes, sir. Look at that. Okay. That, now I feel, Look like, at that. I feel like Chef Boyardee All right. up in here. Now, <laughs> we're going to go ahead. Now, in a minute, we're going to plate that. Now, what if you wanted to, you could um, Sarah's gonna love this. add some olives, okay, and some tomatoes. So cut some tomato up. Now, how, how am I, well, can I use this you, tomato right here? Yeah, go ahead. Now, how am I cutting it up? Like, am I dicing it? You're going to dice it. Yeah, middle, or, four, or do it in quarters. In do quarters. it in quarters, yeah. Yeah, quarters, and you're just going to throw them in there. We're going to throw a little bit of olives. Normally, I'd cut it up, but you know what? Hey. Look at you know, this. Throw a little olive in there. Look at this. Okay. Cut, throw some tomato. Now, the great thing about this salad, too, is you're going to add what kind of cheese? What's the best cheese in the world? Uh, Come on. Provel? Yes. Provel, buttery, soft. It's wonderful. And just throw some tomatoes in there? And throw some tomato. Not like that. you got to get your hand full. Toss. Oh, well, I didn't want to. I no, mean, I you're, you're going to impress a woman, so you can't impress a woman by My hands mm, are clean, by the way. You know. Right. Yeah, I know. Well, so, we gotta, gotta, we, so basically, we just put this in there, the vegetables yes. and, and all that stuff, and we let that cook for how long? And you let that cook about six minutes aside, okay. four to six minutes aside. So, we're so that's let... almost finished. Okay, so that's almost finished. Mm -hmm. We're going to try the finished product. Now, was this real quick, the pasta? Yes. Is that so already pre-made? Yes, what I would do is, is I would bonk. Now, is that already pre-bought? Pre oh, oh, here's the beautiful thing about that. Rice aroni. Oh, that's it, rice aroni. Okay, so we're going to try this a little yes. bit later on. we got to take our first break here on STL Presents. And uh, when we come back, we're going to be joined by uh, Benice King of uh, ICA. Great school we've got to tell you about, so stick with us. So the nuts in there. places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts and together we can stop the wrecks. Imagine what you'd see if every 
Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. kitchen. <laughs> we are, yeah, I'm out of the kitchen. I'm out of the kitchen. Uh, we're coming back to that in a little bit and that'll be interesting. But for right now, we're so happy to welcome Bernice King. Thank yes. you. Bernice Thank King you. is with uh, Innovative Concept Academy and you're here to tell us about this, you know, the school that's doing so many good things for our, our, our troubled youth. Yes. Innovative Concept Academy is a very unique partnership. We have the St. Louis Public Schools, the MERS Goodwill Program, and the 22nd Judicial Courts Juvenile Division. Mm. So you guys have been around for about three years, is that we right? Three years, uh, soon to be headed into our fourth year. Yeah. And yes. so the youth, the students at your school are coming from where? They're coming from various schools that they've been expelled from or suspended from. And they also uh, come by way of the courts as well. So those uh, young individuals come uh, are at risk and have problems and traumas that they have been brought down to the alternative school. And you said that, that that's what makes you guys so unique because you guys are uh, affiliated with the court system. Because we're affiliated with the court system. Now, how did that all how did that all come about? Well, uh, the judge has always had a vision to make sure judge that Jim Edwards? Judge Jimmy Edwards has uh, had a vision that he saw that so many of our youth were being suspended out of school and they were spending time at home. So why have them there at home and they're not receiving their education? Education is very important. So uh, he wanted to create the school. So why they are suspended from a school that would be the traditional setting, they would be there at the alternative school and that's Innovative Concept Academy. So what are some of the challenges that you run into with students who have been expelled from their schools and you're trying to teach them every day. What, what's that like? Well, the biggest challenge is uh, having them come in for some of the offenses that they've committed, for why they were suspended from their schools. Uh, that's the biggest challenge. And making sure that we provide them the necessary resources that uh, we can help correct some of the problems that are existing for why they're there mm -hmm. at ICA. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the largest challenges. So uh, we try to make sure that we provide them additional resources that in tutoring and other academic resources, uh, some mental health uh, services as well, and then we provide the after school program. Now how long typically do the students stay? The, tip, uh, the students are typically there for a semester. So we uh, hold them for that period of time and try to correct those issues or problems that they may have been uh, confronted with for why they were suspended from their schools. So this after school program, are, do most of the students participate in that? Is it a way of extending their day? It's required that all of the students participate in the uh, after school program to give them the additional uh, resources and the additional extracurriculum in life skill training. Okay, so what are some of the things that you're offering after school? Oh, we have some wonderful programs uh, at ICA. <clears throat> we have a, a St. Louis Chess uh, club that's there. We have a boxing program that's uh, hosted and represented from the St. Louis Police, De uh, Police Department. Our PAL program, uh, that's our boxing program. We have St. Louis Wrestling. We have the Downtown YMCA. That's a fitness program. We have a KDN program that teaches them etiquette, grace, and gives them an opportunity to participate in a cotillion. We have a cooking program. <laughs> 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 yes, we have uh, a host of other programs that are brought in by volunteers that come down to provide their services uh, through sororities as well as fraternities and community uh, resources that are outside that come in. Now, you guys have been, we mentioned, you know, nationally recognized, been featured on, on syndicated television shows and, and, yes. and, and national magazines. 
What has been the success rate for, for your program for these students in, in, in getting them back to going to normal schools in, in their districts? It, the, success, the success rate has been very good. We've not had those return uh, situations which we try to make sure that we don't have that. Mm -hmm. So providing them those additional resources there, giving them the additional tutoring during the day, uh, the uh, mental health uh, services being provided to them, and then at the end of the day offering them the extra curriculum through that of after school is giving them uh, additional life skills that they can leave there from ICA and take back to their homes as well as their traditional school settings. And you were saying that Judge Edwards, who started the program and yes. um, has won awards and featured in People Magazine, yes. he is on the bench, but he's still coming, what, two or he three times a day? He comes into the school uh, two or three times a day. Sometimes he's there most of the day if he can, as long as he's not uh, required to be on the bench. And he was just awarded the Emmy Award. So he's he's been making some uh, headways and getting the recognition out there. and. His ultimate goal is to make sure that we can have these type of schools throughout the nation. Last question for you real quick, because I know we got to wrap up. If, if there's any way maybe a parent wants to maybe look into it for their child, how would they, how would they go about doing that? Well, we don't encourage that. And the reason why is because they have to be suspended from their school or That's sent a good through thing. the court. So, yeah. <laughs> don't tell your kids so to you get suspended what it, or expelled. Cool. Let's not look into it. Yeah. All right. Well, Benice, we want to thank you for, for joining us today. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you and so much. And if you need any kids, if you ever need a substitute teacher for that cooking class, I'm your guy. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, That'll uh, work. Well, let's wait till well, we... <laughs> we, uh, we got to go across back over to the kitchen to wrap up the show and uh, see my finished product where uh, Gina has okay. been uh, putting been the finishing, finishing touches <laughs> on there. So Gina's been doing the finishing work on your so cooking. Okay. Look at how pretty ever all the work that I did looks. Oh, oh my isn't goodness. it? Could you do this at oh, home? I'm I mean, make telling it look like you. This? this is pretty. Oh, nice. This. So... Okay. Doesn't that look colorful? That and so is, pretty. You know what? So you want to add a little more, you know, a little, there we go. All right. Look at so that. So here we go. Okay, so I have a question. So, yes. okay, Rob's got a date over. He's, mm -hmm. um, Why does it have to be a date over? Because we're well, fixing you up. I can't be at the house just wanting to cook All right, for so myself. so you're cooking for your mom. We it doesn't matter. Mom, Okay, yeah. whoever is over, at what point does he, does he ever reveal that some of this oh. is already kind of pre- well, see, but basically, it. anybody, no. anything at home is almost is, is pre-bought. Well, right. sometimes. Okay, but, but you don't want to say that. Well, I'm just saying, even if, you know, if you're home, when you buy something, you know, at the store. Well, yes, but the other thing I wanted to mention too is the vegetables that I used. Hello, steam fresh. Put it in the go. microwave. And you five just, minutes. You but then you just threw that, and then you and threw I those. threw it right on top. And you threw okay. that right on threw top. It right so. on top. You can so do this. easy Greek chicken. Rob, you're going to get a date. There you you never know. Easy Mom's Greek chicken, have a great dinner. and it only takes 15 minutes to do it. And uh, we're going to eat it, this food right now. We want to thank all our guests. We want to thank Gina, Benice, and uh, the Colonel mm -hmm. for joining us. We want to thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. Appreciate it. We it's had a whole pleasure. lot of fun. And uh, we will be back again next week where I'm going to cook up something else in the kitchen with, Rob. with my He's skills. <laughs> yes, sir. So thanks for watching. Enjoy your week, everybody. We got to go. Let's try this food. Go ahead, sir. You try it first. Oh. Tell, you, you let me know how I made it. Okay.